Stories recapped here. Today I will show you a comedy, drama, adventure film from 2017, titled A Dog's Purpose. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The beginning of a new life, a newborn puppy with its siblings, a few weeks later they are scavenging trash and having fun playing tug of war. Two men show up and trap him in a net to put him in a vehicle to put him down as a stray. The puppy's life was short and everything fades into bubbles. The puppy wonders what the point of this life was if he did not do much. He comes to as a puppy in a cage and tries to get to that mommy's milk. He is shocked to remember his former life and wonders what is the purpose of it. The handler shows him to a customer and introduces him as a red retriever. The customer is not interested as he is looking for a smaller dog and they put him back. They fail to lock the cage and he manages to escape, wondering about his surroundings. The dog escapes into a hole in the fence. After wandering the streets, he is picked up by two men who think they can get a few dollars for selling him. The two men park the truck on the street and go to a bar, leaving the dog without water and with the windows closed. The dog begins to dehydrate and thinks it's time for the next life. A boy named Ethan and his mother see the dog suffering, they break the car window and take the dog home. When the dog wakes up, he decides on the spot that he is going to keep this boy no matter what. Ethan then tries to convince his father to keep the dog. His father asks him to play with the dog outside while he argues with his wife about the dog because it will leave a mess and he doesn't want to take on any extra responsibility. Finally, Ethan's father comes out and says that Ethan has himself a dog and he is thrilled. They named the dog Bailey in 1961. Ethan teaches him tricks and plays with him. Bailey goes around the house playing with all the members and even learns to live with the house cat. They play games by making noises under the covers, which Bailey enjoys. The family takes a trip to Ethan's grandparents' house. On the way there, Bailey enjoys the smell of the goat, the rest of the family disagrees. At the grandparents' farm, they finally meet Bailey and fall in love with him. Bailey enjoys his time at the farm, he and the chickens have become really good friends. They played ball and had fun. Bailey likes the old people, they always got him. During dinner, Ethan's father says that he didn't get the promotion he applied for, he's a traveling salesman and that it stresses him out a lot. Ethan excuses himself and he and Bailey go for a walk outside. He is visibly sad about his father, Bailey senses this and finds a deflated ball. The ball lifts their spirits and Bailey takes a liking to it, they play all afternoon. Ethan shows his father a trick that he and Bailey learned, he throws the ball and Bailey jumps on his back to catch it. When school starts, they return home. Every morning a big yellow box takes Ethan away from Bailey, and later mom also leaves the house, he is lonely, hungry and bored. He finds the cat, to whom he gives the dog lessons. When Ethan gets home, he notices the mess Bailey has made and sets about cleaning it up, but his father arrives shortly after. He's furious with Bailey and tells Ethan that he has to show who's boss. His supervisor is coming soon and he hopes to get the promotion. When Ethan is done cleaning, he calls himself the boss man and Bailey boss dog, which Bailey acknowledges with a loud bark. When Ethan's father took out his coin collection, he was called by his wife and Ethan decided to play with it, it fell down and Bailey ate it. At dinner, dad's boss praises him for his work in the field and says he's really talented. Dad mentions the promotion, but the boss says he'd be crazy to take him off the field because he does his job too well. As they talk about the coins, Ethan excuses himself and takes Bailey for a walk to get him to do his business. Bailey is confused about what Ethan wants, but manages to do it anyway, and the coin is found. When Ethan returns, his father is already holding the box. To distract him, he says there's a rat under the table and things get hectic, Bailey runs around and amidst the chaos he slips in the coin. Unfortunately, some things went wrong in the process and the table broke with the boss's wife. So Ethan's dad has him locked in the garage and Bailey is sad. He still found his way out of the garage and in the house, a smart dog. Sometime later, Ethan is high school football player and it is the beginning of summer vacation. His dad though, isn't doing too well. They visit an amusement park and Bailey notices Ethan has a different smell to him when he looks at the girl shooting, so he helps him out, her name is Hannah. They introduce each other, have fun on the rides and later she becomes a member of the pack. They spent every day together, playing and swimming, sometimes Ethan and Hannah just sat in the car licking and wrestling with each other. Ethan and Hannah make plans for the future, they want to go to college together and never be apart again. Bailey agrees. After Ethan drops Hannah off at home, he notices his parents arguing. His father has become violent towards Ethan's mother and Ethan pushes him to the ground. After his father was kicked out of the house, Ethan became the leader of the pack. When the summer ended, they went home. Bailey couldn't find the cat, he had been hiding from him for a while, and now he had finally found him. 
At the football game, Aiden manages to score the final point and later tells his mother that he has received a full scholarship to college which she is delighted about. He's celebrating with Hannah at a burger joint when his drunk father walks in and embarrasses him. One of the kids, who is jealous of Ethan, makes fun of him because of his father and Ethan knocks him down. Later, the same kid is at their house and throws crackers in the post box, setting the carpet on fire. Bailey bites him and then he runs away, but the house is already on fire. The dog wakes Ethan up and they wake the mother and try to tie up the sheets to jump out the window. The whole neighborhood is there. He safely brings his mother and Bailey down. Ethan jumps out the window and his leg is crushed by a burning log. Ethan is taken away by an ambulance. Bailey finds the culprit and he quickly confesses to his wrongdoings to the police. Because of what had happened, they returned to the farmhouse and Ethan had lost his scholarship. Bailey had a lot of free time and made a new friend, a horse dog. He loved his smell and they played tag. Hannah comes over and eventually Ethan breaks up with her, saying it is not her fault, it is his. Hannah says her buys to Bailey and leaves. Ethan's leg got better, and he decided to leave the farm. He separates by throwing Bailey's favorite deflated ball and drives off, the dog catches up with him. Bailey's inner voice tells Ethan that he likes this kind of fetch, they part for real now. He wonders once again what the point of being here is with Ethan gone. Everything started to move at a slower pace, which was fine because he didn't feel like running anymore. Bailey was tired all the time, he didn't feel like playing, not even with a horse dog. Grandma notices that Bailey is not looking too good, and they drive him to the vet clinic. The doctor says Bailey's kidneys are failing. Bailey's vision blurs and he is barely conscious. Ethan comes to visit him and calls him boss dog one last time and tells him he loves him before they put him down. Everything became bubbly and then it happened again, the mother, the milk, the siblings. He wondered where Ethan was, and his privates. His man was very serious, Carlos, they worked very hard. His new name was Ellie. He found his new purpose, to search, find and show. Even when he was doing a good job, Carlos was still sad, he was lonely. That's when Ellie realized that being alone is the worst thing that can happen to you. One day a domestic abduction occurred, an armed man kidnapped a 12-year-old girl. Ellie sniffs the stuff and quickly realizes the girl is nearby. They are at the dam and Carlos notices him with the girl. He confronts the man, at which point she struggles and falls into the water. Ellie jumps in after her as the officer rushes after the kidnapper. Ellie rescues the girl and rushes to Carlos' aid, who is ambushed. Unfortunately, Ellie is shot and the man mourns as she slowly fades away. The bubbles come, he thinks this was a different life, not so much fun, but he did a good job. In his next life he is a little puppy with big ears, Tino. He could see that her owner Maya was sad, so he had to cheer her up. His usual I'll bite my tail strategy does not work so well when there is no tail. Even though she's looking for a relationship, when she's approached by a man who asks her out, Maya declines. Tino can read Maya's mind. His inner voice tells her what she will order before it happens, chips, pizza, and ice cream. Maya wonders if it will be just her and him until the end. Sometime later, the doctor gives Tino some shots. She wonders what she is feeding him and that they should exercise more. In this life Tino is very lazy, he does not want to chase the ball until he sees her, Roxy, what a catch. He brings the ball to Roxy. It turns out that Roxy's owner is the guy who asked Maya out earlier. They started hanging out and Tino loved seeing Roxy everywhere he went, even at the wedding they were a pair. Sometime later, while looking at the TV, Tino wonders what that sound is in Mary's belly. It was a baby. They diverted their attention from Tino and got more babies. Soon Tino had to live his life on the run. There was no escape. Despite all this, he and Roxy still grew close. One day Roxy went to the vet and never came back. Everyone was good to Tino, but as the years passed, he missed Roxy. One day Maya comes to Tino and asks him if he knows what she is thinking. She says pizza, he knows, but he's not hungry, he thinks he's ready to move on, this was one of his best lives. Once again, everything goes bubbly. He wakes up as a puppy, waffles, and soon has found a home with Wendy. Her boyfriend is Victor, who does not like the idea of a dog at all. Over time, waffles grew bigger and Wendy lost interest in him. He never went anywhere, never played, but was always chained to a tree. Soon after, Victor puts Waffles in a truck and drives him far away, leaving Waffles to fend for himself. His inner voice narrates that he is glad to be out of there. He is walking near a dog park and remembers the times he had fun, it was so long ago. Another dog runs up to him and for some reason Waffles feels like he knows that smell, from a time long ago. He runs through woods until he finds huge wheat fields and once again he thinks he has been here before. 
There are smells you never forget, he smelled horse dog. The same horse dog from long ago. He wondered if Ethan was still here too. Waffles jumps on him, screaming in his inner voice that it is him, Bailey. The boss dog. Ethan feeds Waffles and tells him he cannot stay here. He stays on the porch anyway, waiting. Ethan drives him to the shelter and leaves Waffles there. Ethan feels guilty that night and returns the next day to get Waffles. Ethan cleaned him up and they made him a collar, Buddy. Buddy still notices that Ethan seems sad, maybe because he sleeps alone. He remembers a smell he recognized earlier. He finds this woman and follows her, he finds out that Hannah is her mother. Hannah checks his collar and finds out that he belongs to Ethan. Hannah drives Buddy back to the farm. Ethan cannot believe his eyes, and does not open the door, he hides. Just when Hannah thinks he's not home, Buddy gives him up. They talk about how their lives have gone. Ethan never married and Hannah's husband died. Buddy wonders if they will lick each other's faces like old times. They do not. Ethan apologizes for how things went back then. He was angry at the world and could never forgive himself for how he acted. He asks Hannah out and they lick each other's faces. Sometime later, a wedding takes place. Ethan comments that he has no family, but Hannah has more than enough. After the wedding, Ethan cleans up and Buddy wants Ethan to know that it's him, the old Bailey. Buddy goes into the barn and pulls out the old flat football they have been playing with. Ethan plays with him for a while and finds out that Buddy knows Bailey's old trick of jumping on him. Ethan then remembers how Bailey liked the term boss dog and Buddy starts barking at the term. Ethan then realizes that Buddy is Bailey. Bailey even shows it by doing his typical bait the tail trick. Ethan pulls out the old tag for Bailey. Bailey notes that a dog's purpose must be to have fun and help others have fun. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this.